if you want to be more agile on court, you have to do jogging with exercises as often as you can. This will help improve your flexibility and you will notice improvement in no time. Hi, this is Coach Kenny Asunshan and welcome to Badminton ABCs where I teach you how to level up your game and all things badminton. Press that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. If you want to be more agile on court, you have to do jogging with exercises as often as you can. This will help improve your flexibility and you will notice improvement in no time. I normally let my students do the jogging with exercises after they warm up. What you are about to see is what we call jogging with exercises. This I will advise you to do as often as you can. If it's once every day or maybe even two times. The first exercise that you will see is just walking tiptoes. I remember as a kid, I do this every single day sometimes even twice a day because it promotes flexibility it strengthens your body it's an overall you know good warm-up before um, your training so now what you see is the players walking on their heels okay so we as much as possible we'd like to be able to warm up every single part of our bodies and slowly so we start walking before the slow jog and then we start with the exercises. So these are just side steps, side steps, side steps. Feet should be pointing forward. Okay, when, when you jog on the side and move again with the same exercise, you, say, you face the same direction. Because for this side, you are moving more to the right. On the other side, you are moving towards your left side. So we try to, as much as we can, we try to balance the exercises for our legs and our arms. So this is twisting. So twisting is very, very helpful. Um, it really promotes flexibility. So again, you have to do it on the other side, moving towards the right side this time. Now, with regards to the speed, you will slowly speed up when you're very familiar with the exercises already. So, this is two side steps, then jump. Two side steps, then jump. For this one, if you're forehand, if, if you are right-handed, this is doing the overhead. When you shift to the other side, as you see, this time, it's hitting it on your forehand if you're right-handed. So, that's what you swing, your dominant hand. The next exercise you see is moving towards the right and towards the left. Though we normally don't run, like if you're right-handed, you don't normally run with your left leg in front. But we're trying to balance it off when we do like physical training, physical exercises. Now you see them doing the backward of that exercise. Okay, this time it's moving now you will see their dominant leg if they're right-handed you will see that they always end with their right whether it's going to get a forehand or going to get a backhand and on this side you see them just running backwards although we don't normally do this in the game um, we do this as a warm-up And this time, it's very plain and simple. You see them just jumping, jumping. Try to do it with your legs together, evenly jumping. Make sure that your dominant leg is not carrying all the weight. This time, it's going backward, backward. Try to even out the weight. Keeping your feet together as you jump backward. Again, it's still a jumping exercise, but this time you open your legs apart and put it back in, close, open. So, though it looks very simple, once you're there, um, it really gives you a good warm-up. 
This time, you see them doing it backwards. Jumping, legs open, and closing back to the middle. Make sure when you do these exercises, you do them right. So this is knees up. So you're just, um, your focus is, you know, lifting your knee higher, higher, higher. If it's possible to, to the waist area or even a little bit higher. Now this is a fast movement for the legs. We call it trotting. So it's as fast as you can, like putting intense, uh, intense pressure intense movement on your legs like making it fast quick this time it looks like they're just skipping but they're actually skipping and crossing their legs this is really good for your hip area so crossing the leg skipping crossing the leg is a good warm-up and this one moving backwards I specifically like this because when you warm up really well um, it lessens the chances of um, pulling pulling anything especially areas near the groin this one is called star jump you jump as high as you can arms and legs also wide apart in badminton there's a lot of you know jumping around the court so it's good that you know you're strong you're flexible this one is just running and just turning around there's a bit of a jump as well as you turn around so this time smaller steps it's like you're crossing you try to run on a line but it's like crossing 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 your legs this time it's the opposite of it legs apart go to the right go to the left go to the right go to the left it's important for badminton that you are able to hop as well shifting weight oh this exercise i specifically really really like and enjoy because you know it's it's a shifting of your weight so you go down like full squat down swinging your arms to the back then swinging it going to the front so upon swinging you will notice that your body weight is shifting to the back and to the front so this is a very good drill after all the very intense you know drills this is just uh, skipping 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 sort of like relaxing your legs exercises don't have to go in a particular order on the other side you see them like popping forward like hitting a shot in front and finally they do sprints towards the end normally it is a minimum of two rounds of sprints but you can add if you feel that you can add more However, the emphasis for me is more on the exercises. That's why we call this jogging with exercises. Emphasis on the exercises. The sprints are just like your finisher. So I hope you have enjoyed the jogging with exercises. Do them as often as you can and I guarantee you it will help. But when you're done, make sure to Walk first, take deep breaths, um, do not immediately stop or sit down. Try the jogging with exercises and let me know if you found it easy or difficult on the comment section below. Remember to hit that subscribe button, level up your gameplay, and be the next smashing success.